Hello everyone and welcome back to my true crime channel. I hope you're all well. Today I want to talk about the fact that Don Wells lately has gone rather quiet. So since Dumpgate, Don Wells, as far as I'm aware, has spoken out once more since that happened. I haven't heard any more lives, haven't heard any more phone calls. All the bizarreness seems to have stopped. Now, I think we all are aware there's another major case in the world at the moment with the tragic death of Gabby Petito. I imagine that's taken a bit of heat off of the Wells family because a lot of people are focused on that case at the moment. What I have found to be bizarre is that Don Wells has gone quiet for a few days. I'm sure he'll probably be back by the time I upload this video, or if not by tomorrow. It seems very odd to me, and it makes me wonder what's going on with that family. Is there something we're not being told about? Is there something going on with Don potentially being charged for the abuse claims that have been made against him? Perhaps? I don't know. Toilet gate I think he was a bit embarrassed about, if he actually feels embarrassment. He's gone very quiet since, and it makes me quite concerned. A lot of us did want him to shut up and stop dropping himself in it, but if he does shut up and doesn't keep talking, it's quite worrying that one, Summer's case could be forgotten, and two, us all hoping for him to slip up and let the real truth out isn't going to happen if he stops speaking. Now, I'm starting to wonder whether the Wells family are seeking legal advice. I imagine they must have had some over the three-month period their daughter Summer Wells has been missing, but the voice in the background giving Don orders, telling them to sit down and get talking, or telling him to get off the phone in a separate video on YouTube in the background. Who is this person? Are they giving him orders? And have they, potentially, in my opinion, instructed Don to shut up. I hope Summer's case isn't going to be forgotten. I certainly haven't forgotten about it and I know a lot of you haven't forgotten about it. I have been following Gabby's case. I will be reporting on that as well but I'm not going to stop reporting on Summer. I have some other cases that I'm going to be covering in the next few weeks but I definitely don't want to stop covering Summer's case. I appreciate there's not been any big news in Summer's case in the last few days perhaps because her dad stopped speaking. Let's hope Don strikes up his friendships again with certain people on YouTube, gets talking, gets that truth out potentially about what happened to Summer so that the case can finally, hopefully, be solved. So what do you guys think about Don Wells going quiet? Are you freaked out by it? Do you think, whoa, where's Don gone? Hold on a minute. Two days have passed and I've not heard from him. It's not normal for two days to pass and us not hear from Don Wells. So I'm starting to think, what's going on? Why is he being so quiet? And is he going to give any more interviews? I'm sure, like me, you must have noticed the silence from Don. Candace doesn't speak out much anyway. Grandus, or Grandma, apparently does speak out from time to time, if it's actually her. Obviously, we can't be sure. But I've always found it weird that Candace doesn't want to speak out more. If you had a missing daughter, regardless of everything that's gone on with your daughter's disappearance and the case over the past three months, surely you'd want to speak out. Surely both of you would regularly want to plead to Summer's so-called abductors, but neither of them do. We've had a few half-hearted attempts at pleading with the abductor or abductees, but their pleas never wash with me. They never seem real. They never seem believable. A bit like everything they both say. So obviously, guys, I'm still looking into the case. I'm not going to be stopping making videos on summer. I'm going to try to keep doing them every day. Sometimes it might be every other day because I can't always get a video out on a daily basis. But I will keep you updated as and when I can. I've got a couple of other videos coming out about summer over the next few days. I am still going back through all of the interviews that the parents have given. I appreciate Candace hasn't done as many as Don, but I'm listening back to all the interviews that Don did with the interview room with Chris, all the other interviews that Don's done with the media, and just trying to see if there are any more red flags or slip-ups from Don that I can spot. There are always many, but I want to pick out the best ones for you and bring them to you as soon as I can. So tell me what you think, guys. As usual, I want to know your thoughts, so please pop your comments below. Have you noted Don's silence? Have you noticed that since the live with Toilet or Dumpgate, he's only done one more live that I'm aware of? He's gone very quiet, unless maybe he's got a new friend on YouTube that I'm not aware of. Well guys, I hope you're all well. I just want to say thank you and hello to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for all of your lovely comments. I really appreciate you all and I really appreciate that you all want Summer to be found as much as I do. Well guys, I'm going to be back with you very soon for more videos. I hope you'll be back with me for my next one. As always, I hope you're having a great day 
I hope you're all well. I hope you're taking care of one another. And as usual, I'm going to be back with you all very soon for another true crime video. Bye for now.